Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be servicing the DSG gearbox on the Audi, getting all the fluid out, any contaminants from all the driving and then fresh fluid in. Hopefully it'll get it shifted nice and crisp and making it last for as long as we can. So I've got a couple of things, tools and some oils that I got from Amazon. This is the DSG oil from Motul. It came with the filter for the DQ250 gearbox and a, an O-ring in there but you can't see it too well, just there. Uh, and a separate order I put, got this pipe, this gravity fills, so one end connects to this, the other to the gearbox underneath the car. Um, I've got 24mm uh, ratchet, a 14mm allen to take the plug out, maybe a socket would be better but I couldn't find one, and an 8mm allen for the secondary plug. So first of all, here's the DSG fil filter. We're just going to take the cap off with the 24mm socket. With a small extension. cloth around the filler cap just to prevent any drips or spillages It looks a little bit different, but it's the same filter, the new one's compatible. So before we go into the car, what I've done is I've got the, the tube that we're going to attach to the oil. I've just fed it down through the engine bay so it comes out the bottom. And then just let it rest here. So this is the plug we've got to take out, the first one. You can see the pipe from the engine bay just there. Make sure you've got a bucket underneath. There we go. It's a bit harder with one hand. And then... So this shouldn't come out too quickly to begin with. And I'll show you why. There we go. We're just going to let that drain. Okay, so you can see the stream much finer. And then you need to get your 8mm. And there's another plug in here which will release much more fluid. So a little bit more messy. There you go, much thicker stream. Again, the flow is not black, but I bet you the new stuff's super, super clear, so. So to, to see what it feels like if it changes any driving characteristics or things like that. So we're just gonna let that drain. So while it's draining, I'm just going to get this pick tool and take off the O-ring. I've got a replacement one in here. Put that one on. Put a little bit of oil on it. to get it ready for after we've filled up. And then we have our filter ready as well. That's draining. All I'm gonna do, we're just gonna crack the lids on all of these. Oh, 
Okay guys, so that's finished draining. Looks pretty dark. I'm just gonna put this back in with the eight millimeter. No need to go super tight, so I'm not gonna um, use the short end so I can get a lot of leverage. I'm just gonna do finger tight. It really wasn't hard to get out, so just like that. There you go. And then we're gonna connect this. ready to start filling. Okay. Cool. So we've connected it to the bottom of the drain plug. We've got the other end here. We've got the first liter of oil. Just gonna screw that on. Now the uh, filter and the housing is not on. It's gonna help us fill it up. So my thought is if I cut the top off it, this will all be open, it'll act like a funnel and I can just pour the other uh, bottle straight in. So while this drains, I'm just gonna Cut the top off. A little bit awkward when you're trying to film. We already have the top off. You can just pour the next one in. Now apparently the higher you hold this, the quicker it'll drain. I don't want to pull it too tight and then pinch it at the bottom. So I'm not sure if you can see, but this oil is so much clearer than the stuff that came out. Just shows it was definitely needed. So I'm gonna carry on filling this up. It's got a couple more liters to go. Uh, we're gonna skip to the next step where I'm gonna go underneath the car. We'll block it up with the drain plug and then I'll show you what you need to do next. All right guys, stage one complete. We have all the oil. This is still attached. The funnel cutting the top off worked a treat. Uh, you just pour it in. I had to hold it there for a, for a while, but it didn't take too long. So we're gonna keep that attached. We're gonna put the new filter on. There she is. Put that in here. And it has a little bit, of, it has a positive engagement, doesn't click really. And then, the housing, we've got the new O-ring, we've put some oil on it. Twenty-four. I'll have to check the torque on it. You don't want to over tighten it. Okay, so we have the housing back on, new filter, the uh, hose is still connected to the bottom of the DSG. I've taken the funnel out. We're now just gonna go inside the car. Okay, so we're inside the car. We're just gonna start it up. I am gonna turn the valves off. Brake pedal, I hope 
hope you can still hear me with the engine on. Let me. There we go, that might be a bit better. My foot's still on the brake pedal. I'm just going to cycle through the gears for three to five seconds. So park, reverse. And then what this does, it just lets the fluid get into all the different uh, gears. Drive. I am going to put it in manual as well. I don't think you have to, but... And then I'm going to go back. That, that's the dog bone mount, I think. Making quite the rattle. And now back to park. Okay, so now we're going to keep the car running. We're going to go back under the car and we're going to take the hose off. So hopefully you can hear me. The hose we're going to take off now and it's going to start draining. And that's going to, with the engine running, it's gonna help us find the, the correct oil level. So we're just gonna undo that. Probably gonna make quite the mess. And it might be quite warm. go. Now I've got the drain plug ready. And as the stream starts to get thinner, that's when you know you're, you're good. Okay, so I reckon that's it. So we're just going to wipe this down and then snug it up. Cool guys, so that seemed a little bit too easy. Um, with the filler tube, it was super fast. I mean, you can get a pump version which makes it even quicker, but for 25 euros for the tube, I, I'll do that. Just cut the end off, acts like a funnel. You can pour the rest of them in, super, super easy. Took like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, the only thing I didn't have was the OBD-11 or the Vagcom reader to test the oil temperature, but I let the car run and then hopefully warm up to near enough the desired temperature while I was cycling it and things like that. And um, yeah, it seemed to do the right thing. The, I took the plug out, it started to drip, it got less of a drip, so I put the final drain plug in. And all that's ne next to do is, is drive it. So maybe in the next video or in a couple of videos time we'll do a review of the dog bone mount, the rear under brace and the DSG oil change because it did come out super dirty compared to the new stuff it was like a really light red bull color the new oil so it'd be interesting to see how it feels and hopefully it changes nice and crisp and like i say keeps the gearbox working for a long time so if you like the video remember to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video